Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with round three of the Telephone Hop. And today I am going to create my layout and you will have seen Christie's layout, which I showed at the beginning. And that is the layout that I am using as my inspiration. And so I'm showing you here everything that I pulled. I take inspiration definitely of the stripes or strips of paper that Christy used on her layout. And then based off of that, I keep them in the horizontal um, direction like Christy's layout, but I add a ton of extra embellishment. I kind of go over the top with my embellishing on this one, but I had such a great time putting this one together. So you're going to see here how I go about putting putting my layout together. The first thing here that I'm going to do is cut all of my pattern papers. This one, this pink that is sort of like an ombre pink is going to act as my background paper and then that black and white stripe is going to be sort of my border paper. So I'm going to have those two pattern papers in the background of my layout and then I'm going to take all those different pattern papers that you saw at the beginning and I'm going to cut about a one inch strip of each of the patterns to use for this and all of these are just older papers from my stash. I have some from the carousel collection, some from my mind's eye. I basically just went through and grabbed just a collection of pinks and greens to use for this layout. Um, I didn't even look to see what manufacturers most of them were, were out of my scraps. Um, and so I kind of am just putting the layout together using mostly scraps for this one. So that's what I'm going to do here. And so while you're watching me kind of cut all of these out, um, I wanted to make sure that if you have not watched Christie's video yet, the link will be down below as well as the link for everyone who will be participating in this hop. However, Christina Sorge will be the next person up in the hop and her video will actually be up tomorrow and you'll see her how she interpreted my layout. So if you go back through the list though, you can see what the, the original layout started like and follow it all the way through. So this is one of the most fun hops that I, I participated in in the last year and so I had such a great time. We love doing this hop and it's kind of fun to see the progression of the layouts as everyone sort of takes it and does their own kind of spin on it. And so it has been super, super fun to put these together and watch all the ladies videos. There are quite a few of us. My group was the art, uh, artistic arsenal and then there are two other, I believe, YouTube groups and then two that are on Instagram. So definitely if you search for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club or YouTube Telephone Hop or anything like that, you will definitely or at least should get quite a few videos that will come up in that link. This is round three. So it has we've done it a couple of times now. So as I was talking, you saw me there. I cut up all my strips and like I said, I kept the design just as Christy had hers, which was those vertical strips. However, I probably have more papers down than she used for her strips. I have quite a few that will span this layout. And so I am going to show you here. Here's how I'm going to lay my photo down. I'm going to have a doily and then I'm going to frame my photo with that six by six piece of paper or at least other piece of scrap paper. I can't actually tell if it's a six by six or just a scrap piece of pattern paper but that is going to be the mat for my photo as well and I have a doily that'll also go behind there. Now one of the things that I did like on Christie's layout as well is I it looks like she has done stitching or had like textures in her layers. I am not going to do stitching but I am going to um rough up all the edges of all of those paper strips so that it really adds some nice texture to the layout without having to go ahead and stitch it. I was feeling lazy and so I didn't want to stitch my layout for this one. So I decided to just go with the paper strips. 
and just do some roughing up of the edges. So I will take my distress tool and use that here in a few minutes. And I also decided, I actually thought I only did the one layer behind my photo, but I actually end up matting it with a couple of extra pattern papers. I, like I said, I really wanted to play up the layers and the texture and really build off of Christie's layer by adding a whole bunch of just extra layers and texture to this layout. So you're going to see how, how I keep to her main structure of her layout. And as we go, you'll, you'll definitely see where I kind of do my own thing as we move through the layout. So once I get this done, I'm going to put, like I said, multiple layers there behind my photo. I'm going to put that doily in between a couple of the layers. And then at this point I am pretty happy with my background. I've got everything sort of laid out where I want everything. I know I'm going to have the strips at the top and bottom, have that section in the middle where my photo is going to go. And so now once I have this base, I'm going to take all of those bits and pieces that I showed at the beginning. I didn't show them in detail. These are just a lot of pieces from Maggie Holmes collections. I think a lot of these came from the carousel die cuts. I have those florals, which I think were also from that same collection. I have some frames that I think are from one of Maggie Holmes earlier collections. Those were cut from a piece of pattern paper. And so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to design out the rest of my layout before I go off camera and glue all of it down. But like I said, I add a whole lot of details and extra sort of bits and pieces to this layout. So Here's where I'm showing is I've gone off camera now. I, I did take out my distress tool. I distressed everything that was going on this layout and it's kind of hard to see it on the video, but definitely when you pick up this layout and when you're looking at it, the texture, there's a lot of texture and, and this layout is super heavy because of all of the embellishing and the papers that are on it. It's one of my heavier layouts for sure. But now that I have everything glued down, I am going to take these uh, th thickers. They're not thickers. They're letter stickers from Pink Fresh, and it's the Office Collection. And I'm going to put my title down here on this bottom set of frames. And the title is going to be uh, Family Vacay. And so I'm using that those letter stickers for the top and then the vacay comes from I believe I want to say it was the Oasis sticker sheet so I have been trying to use up that sticker sheet for forever so I finally got that vacay used up and on a page and now I'm kind of just going through some old sticker sheets from all different kinds of collections and kind of just picking and choosing some different elements that work with the colors on this page I am basically just going for color and little elements that I can add into my clusters just to give them a few more details like these hearts are perfect to kind of finish off each cluster. I have some word phrases that kind of go with the fact that you know we're it's my family and we're at Disney and so these kind of phrases on these travel ones kind of work perfectly. And now because no Disney layout for me would be complete without a Mickey head somewhere, I'm going to take one of those pattern papers that I used and I'm going to put a little Mickey head here down at the bottom. And once I get that done, I'm going to kind of fiddle around a little bit and see if there are any other additional finishing touches like this puffy sticker. And then I'm going to look at a few other sticker sheets, I believe. But with that, I will have still photos at the end. And I am going to remind you, don't forget to come back tomorrow and take a look at Christina's layout. I'm excited to see how she interprets this one. I love watching everyone put their layouts together in this hop. And like I said, all the links will be down below. And so here I am just grabbing a few of these little flowers off of the sticker sheet. And once I get those down, I think I am almost going to be done. I'm trying to think what else I added. I will put my journaling on that tag that is behind the photo. So I have sort of an interactive journaling element also on this page, which is also kind of fun. I didn't really 
think I wanted to write directly for my journaling directly on this page, just simply because there was absolutely, it was so detailed and there was so much going on. I didn't uh, think there was a really good place to put my journaling. So it was great to have that little tag and pocket element behind my photo that I can just stick some journaling in. And this photo is actually just of my parents and my husband and I and my daughter. So this was before my son was born. And so this is us. We are at Animal Kingdom and the tree. If you can kind of tell in the background, we're at Animal Kingdom. And so my daughter isn't looking at the camera, but the rest of us are. And so she's got this cute little look on her face. And uh, I love this picture. So this was documenting one of our vacations before my son came along. But like I said, that pretty much wraps this one up. Here are the still photos, guys. And I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.